I don't know if you know who Christina Mon Lakiani is. She co-founded Mind Valley. And yeah. I was talking to her about her keynote speeches. And she said one of the first ones she had to give, she had to follow one of the biggest influencers that there is. And she wouldn't tell me who it was. I think it was Tony Robbins, by the way, she was describing this person, but larger than life, use their presence to control the crowd, et cetera. And she said, I'm sitting back there and having this agony. Do I completely change my approach because I'm nothing like that? And she started to think about it as she was getting on the stage and she was really nervous. And then she looked out on the stage and she said, ultimately, I am not here for me. I am here to serve this audience. And the best way that I can serve them is by being who I am, because that's who I'm most comfortable being. And she said she went up there on the stage, gave a completely different talk, one that was just really rooted in raw vulnerability, a much softer tone, but possibly a more authentic tone. And she ended up getting a standing ovation. And she said from that point forward, she just learned that she really needed to lean in on that because that's who she is. And she didn't need to try to pretend to be someone else. So I think your advice on that is great because that's who you are. And people are either not going to like it or they're going to love it. And the people who love it are going to want more and more of it. So thank you for sharing that. I love that story. That yeah, that makes me feel so much better. I actually talk about this a lot too. There's never, a t I speak on a lot of stages with a lot of men. It's just an often a, a situation that I find myself in where I'm one of the only women and I'm always following very strong men on stage. And I love that you shared that with me because there's always a moment and this is it always happens to me where for a second, I'm like, do I need to change my talk right now? I think I do. Two seconds before, because the guy that had my let's book before me or Eric Thomas, these guys that have this amazing keynote that they do, but it's a totally different energy. And I immediately think, oh my God, I need to totally change everything that I have talked about. This has happened to me so many times. And now one of my pre-show rituals I've had to implement is to say to myself every time before I go on stage, no matter who goes before me is, Jenny, be more you, be more you. Be more you because it's not about me. It's actually what I can give to them. And I use the acronym HOPE, help one person every day. If I'm obsessed with getting on stage and being more like what was just before me because I'm so insecure in the way that I might show up and I might not be good enough for these people or they might not like it because they just liked something different before me, then I'm not going to help anybody. But if I just go on, just like what you just said, I love that. I'm going to drink with her. Uh, and, and just focus on helping them and doing what I do best in order to help that one person in the room that needs to hear what I have to say that day. I have to be more just who I am and not try to be like anybody else. That's so common, especially with the world that we live in with social media, wanting to seeing something like, oh, I shouldn't do it my way. I should do it this way. This way is clearly better. But instead of doing that, looking inward and being more curious and tapping back into what's the superpower that I have that's unique. And that, like what you said earlier, what Rory always says is you're the most equipped to help the person that you used to be. Think about that person on the other side of the phone. Think about that person in the audience that you're talking to in that moment. And if you just focus on helping them and doing whatever it is, like letting go of what you look like, what you sound like, uh, if you're saying the right thing or not, and you just focus on helping that person, usually the authentic truth will come out of who you are. Because when we're just having a conversation with a friend and we're just leaning in and we're just talking to them and helping them, we're our most authentic self. We're not thinking about trying to be like anybody else. We're just pouring into that person, trying to help them. And that's usually the most powerful thing that we can do.